Hello everyone! Today I want to tell you about the most durable metal on earth, titanium. In the periodic table of chemical elements, titanium is in the fourth group, located after scandium. In nature, this element is found in the composition of minerals, such as titanite and rotile. Pure titanium usually is silvery grey and is lightweight metal, with the highest ratio of strength to weight of all the elements. This means that a plate made of titanium will weigh 50% less than the one made of steel. True, it will have the same strength of not be even more stronger. To demonstrate the physical properties of titanium, I'll first try to compare how the grinder cuts the titanium plate in comparison to steel. The steel plate is being cut pretty much as usual, without any problems. However, when I started to cut the titanium plate, you could instantly notice the main difference, the color of the sparks. This is because titanium, like iron, has the property of perforicity. This means that small titanium particles created during the seven can self-ignite in air, forming bright white sparks. These sparks are much hotter than those formed by the saving of steel, hence are an increased fire hazard. Titanium powder generally burns in air extremely well, forming bright sparks. This property of titanium is often used in pyrotechnics, for example, for creating bright pyrotechnical fountains. In the industry, titanium is often being cut with special cutters to avoid sparks and reduce the fire hazardness. Also, saving titanium with a grinder is a much worse experience than saving steel. The disc is constantly being smeared with particles of the metal, which makes cutting unstable and dangerous. I decided to stop the saving altogether, to be on the safer side. Nonetheless, you can see how big the edge turned out to be after cutting titanium which means high ductility of the metal, as opposite to steel. For the final test of titanium on each trench, me and my friends have decided to conduct a grand experiment, comparing the different metals for resistance on bullet impact. I took a sheet of aluminium, titanium and steel of average strength. The thickness of titanium and steel was 2 mm and 3 mm for aluminium one. For this experiment, we went to a shooting range and took a lot of weapons to do the experiment with. I want to assure everyone that all the participants in the video have a weapon permit, as well as we took all the security measures to conduct these experiments, and of course received the authorization of the shooting range for this. Do not attempt to repeat such experiments. We took three different guns, their names and calibers you can see on the screen. And just in case we also decided to attack a rifle with .208 caliber in case none of the guns managed to pierce any of the metals. To begin with, I took the aluminum plate and my friend Edward shot it with his pistol water that shoots bullets weighing 4.6 grams. It can clearly be seen that an aluminum of 3 mm thickness can be easily penetrated even with such a small bullet. A 9mm bullet also managed to easily pass through the aluminium sheet. Now let's try the steel plate. A bullet fired from the water left only a small dent on the plate. However, my friend Roman with his pistol firing 9mm bullets will try to rectify this situation. This footage shows that the 9mm bullet almost struck the steel plate slightly tearing the edges of the deepening. For a complete hole, the bullet lacked just a bit of energy. Now comes the fun part. Let's move to the titanium plate. It's the smallest one of the plates we brought. Hence, it might be not so easy to hit it from the 12 meters range. Let's start with the smallest one of the calibers we have. 7.65 mm. This shot hit the plate with pretty much almost no damage. Let's see if a 9mm bullet can pierce it, as it has two times more energy. I think the photo clearly shows there are no holes from those bullets that couldn't pierce it, all is because of the high ductility and tautness of titanium, which has a greater resistance to such impacts than steel. By the way, while we were shooting, 
Something happens that one of their shooters caused a grand occurrence. The second man shooting at the titanium hit the same spot as the previous 9mm bullet, in essence creating a hole in the plate. However, with a single hit titanium doesn't break unlike steel, even though it has almost two times lower density. I guess it wasn't a bad idea we also took a rifle with us. Let's see whether its bullet will strike the plate. The bullet, with such an enormous energy, goes through the titanium plate with no struggle. Also, the white sparks generated from the impact of the bullet on the surface of titanium are perfectly visible here too. In this comparison photo, I have put all the three plates together, so you could inspect them better. I think that these tests have proven the mechanical strength and lightness of titanium compared to other metals. Now, let's have a look at the chemical properties of titanium. This metal is highly resistant to solution of acids and alkalis because of the very strong oxide film covering the metal. Due to this property, the electrodes for electrolysis are made of titanium, for example, to produce hydrogen. For a greater resistance, these electrodes can also be covered with a passivate layer of oxides of transition metals. Also, titanium is quite a refractory metal and has a high corrosion resistance. It's oxidized in air only at temperatures above 100 degrees Celsius, forming titanium oxide. Also, in desalination stations, titanium propellers are used in pumps. The only acid which dissolves titanium is hydrofluoric acid. The reason is it's capable of forming water-soluble complexes that prevent formation of a protective oxide film. In acids, titanium is oxidized to the trivalent state, where it has a purple color. If you add a sodium hydroxide to this solution, also known as lye, a precipitate of titanium hydroxide will fall out. Today, titanium metal has a huge range of applications. The most important one is aviation. From this metal and its reinforced alloys, they make impeller turbine blades in the engines, as well as many other parts of the aircraft. Some of the parts of expensive cars, such as exhaust pipes, are made of titanium, due to its properties of having a beautiful oxide film. Also, cookware made from this metal is very durable and lightweight. It can be a good idea to take them for camping. The alloy of titanium and nickel, called nitinol, has a unique property, shape memory. If you deform a spring of this alloy, then once heated, it will return to its original form. And while restoring the shape, a small spring made of nitinol can lift some considerable weight, for example, my YouTube button. Titanium is even added into an alloy with gold to make it more durable. In medicine, this metal is indispensable, since Prosthetic, orthopedic and dental implants are made from titanium, all because of the excellent biocompatibility of this metal and the almost non-existent toxicity for humans. Of the titanium compounds, the most frequently used one is of course the titanium dioxide, which is an excellent inert pigment. It's added for creating white color in toothpastes, tablets, in all sorts of cleaning products like abrasive and even in white plastic. Titanium nitride is one of the most solid substances. It's used to cover, for instance, the drill bits used for metal drilling. Also, the domes of charges, some spoons and even the all known spinners are being covered with the titanium nitride instead of gold, as it is almost indistinguishable from gold in appearance and is much cheaper and stronger than the latter. Now I think you have learned enough about such an essential metal as titanium. The only problem with this metal is its price, because of the difficult and expensive method used for obtaining and processing this metal. For the provided titanium for the experiments, I would like to thank the company Stanford Advanced Materials. I put a link to their site in a video description. 
Now you know a little bit more about one of the other metals. If you would like to support the continuous production of science videos like this one, please support channel on Patreon, link in the video description. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel to see many more new and interesting.